do. Welcome to Mill Pond Records and Books for Monday, January 20th. This is not a blue Monday, it's a happy Monday. Let's begin here. First up today, Around the World with the Chipmunks. Uh, original 1961, I think, pressing. So very good there. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Crazy, crazy little rodents. Oh, Calcutta. Original soundtrack recording. For mature adults only, so I haven't been allowed to listen to this. <laughs> Some fine Canadian folk rock in the shape of uh, Murray McLaughlin. 1966 German Odeon pressing of Revolver. Interesting thing about this is that because it's German, it has the same track listing as the British release, which means it has Andrew Burke and Singh, Dr. Robert, and uh, I'm Only Sleeping on it, which are not on the American release because of Capital's insistence on butchering the albums. So, original pressing in very good condition, too. Outcast, very early EP from our friends with the uh, hit song Hey Ya, this does not have it, this is from actually 1996, and interestingly Andre 3000 is listed as Andre Benjamin, which is his real name, so if you ever want to know what Andre 3000's real name is, Andre Benjamin, okay? Talking Heads 77, featuring our friend David Byrne, Hamilton, Ontario born David Byrne, wonderful new wave in really good condition. Coventry, England's The Specials. Some great tunes on here. Great uh, trombone solo on Message to You, Rudy. Good stuff there. Elvis Costello and the Attractions. My favorite song on this is uh, Oliver's Army. What a great, great tune that is. Bruce, Born to Run. Fantastic 1975 rock album featuring the late, great Clarence Clemens on saxophone. Wonderful. Iron Butterfly's 1969 album Ball. This is a Canadian first pressing for 69, so 45 years ago. Sealed. Never opened. Never opened. Who would buy a record and not open it? I don't know, but I'm glad. I'm glad they did. Oh, I'll it right there. And Motorhead's favorite woman heavy metal rock band, Girl School. Good friends with Motorhead. Kind of a, almost like a female version of them. Really good heavy metal from the UK. And finally, The Clash, uh, Combat Rock. Seminal album, Rock the Casbah, Should I Stay or Should I Go? What more is there to say? Except that if you want to know where this train track is, you have to go to Thailand. Thank you, have a wonderful day.